Hello, my name is Neto Rosatelli and welcome to the Cataract Surgery Channel. In this video, I demonstrate the efficiency and safety of the wedge mechanical fracturing on a white cataract. A groove is made with the side of a 2.8 sapphire knife to achieve a nice triplanar incision. The side port is done with a 21 gauge needle, the blunt edges of the sapphire knife holding the eye steady. The eye is centered and 0.5 lidocaine followed by trap and blue are injected. I prefer to remove the dye using dispersive OVD, skipping the step of washing using BSS. A nicely stained capsule is obtained. Now I perform a phaco capsulotomy to quickly decompress the bag and aspirate cortex milk. In here, I slightly enlarge the aperture and probe to see if more fluid comes out. I was expecting a more intumescent one here, but that was not the case. As the initially created flap favors a clockwise axis, that's the direction I go with the help of an engraved Inamura forceps. Is this Rex is a small one? Since there is significant amount of non-liquefied cortex, hydrodissection is performed. Subsequently, a vigorous nucleus spinning is done, as this maneuver greatly helps releasing existing cortex from the capsule. This is very zonular friendly, despite looking a little rough. The nucleus is quickly divided using the wedge mechanical fracturing technique. No US power or vacuum used until here, showing the efficiency and safety of this technique. Just use the bevel of the tip against the chopper stabilized nucleus. The quadrants can then be easily emulsified as in this case. This type of cataract often presents some difficult to remove adherent cortex. Here I go with the coaxial IA to be able to aspirate the cortex and the epithelial cells under the capsulorex's edge. Luckily, there is no significant capsule fibrosis, an often encountered issue in cases like this one. Surely a good cortical and capsule cleanup will be possible. Posterior capsule polishing must be carefully and patiently performed, especially in the central zone, to avoid the need of early YAG laser capsulotomy. The chopper can help in stabilizing the eye in difficult to reach positions. Thin stringy cortex remnants outside the central zone are of no consequence if left behind. No need to go crazy here and risk rupturing the capsule. In this case, the IOL hydroimplantation technique shows its value as an extremely efficient and fast surgical step, leaving no OVD behind. IOL centration is ensured, and then stromal hydration seals the incisions. It is remarkable how initially the Rex seemed smallish but in fact, it really is 5 mm in diameter, showing the usefulness of an engraved capsulorexis forceps. Search Neto Rosatelli on YouTube or click on the link below 
and visit my other channel with cataract focal clips. Please like, share, subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.